All right, just finished updating to the new 5.1.0 Prusa Mini Plus firmware to take advantage of the new input shaping speeds. The process wasn't as straightforward as I was expecting and I had to spend over two hours on chat support with Prusa to get it up and running. So I thought I'd do a quick video to help save you some time in case you face the same issues I did. One of the main reasons for my issues was that I was going from version 4.3.4 to version 5.1.0. Turns out you can't do that. I needed to incrementally upgrade from version 4.3.4 to 4.4.0, then to 4.4.1, and then finally to 5.1.0. If you're someone who has been keeping up with the updates, then you'll probably be fine. And to be fair, if you click on the release log and read the firmware update instructions, it does say that if you're upgrading the mini to make sure you are running at least firmware 4.4.1 first. But who's reading instructions? When trying to upgrade directly from 4.3.4 to 5.1, my first sign that something was wrong was that when I first reset the printer, nothing would happen even though the firmware was loaded in the thumb drive. You can force it to check for updates on the thumb drive by pressing the reset button and then double clicking the knob button after the screen flashes. However, when I did this, it gave me a message that the firmware slash printer types do not match. I tried a bunch of other things, but let's just skip to what worked. I went ahead and downloaded firmware version 4.4.0. This included two files because it turns out both firmware and bootloader needs to be updated on this version. However, when I tried to update, I kept getting a message that the firmware file size was invalid. The solution to this was to delete the buddy file and send the buddy update pre file by itself. And then I did the reverse. I deleted the buddy update pre file and sent the buddy file by itself. And this gave me the scary message that something got corrupted. However, this was easily fixed by then sending both files at the same time. Finally, version 4.4.0 was successfully installed. After installing this version, I was then able to update to 4.4.1 with no issues and then on to 5.1.0 finally. Those two versions updated normally by putting the thumb drive in and then resetting the printer to allow it to flash. After updating, I was able to print the Bonkers Benchy in roughly 15 minutes. An important thing to know is that to take full advantage of the new firmware, you have to be running Prusa Slicer version 2.7 or later. And within the slicer, make sure to select the mini with the input shaper option within configuration. One issue I'm still having after the update is that when I turn on the mini with an inserted USB drive, it gives me this error that the firmware file is missing in the USB flash. Once I hit continue, it'll boot up fine, but if anyone knows how to get rid of this error, please let me know in the comments. Thanks. All right, just wanted to come in with a quick video, you know, just in case you are facing the same issues I was, uh, this would save you a couple hours with chat support. All right, guys, take care.